Lieutenant John. Captain Curry to Deacon St. John. Please report to me at Diamond Lake. Yes, Captain. I'm here. Uh, copy that. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Before the shit went down, you talked about global conspiracy. Most would have laughed you out of the room. No one's laughing now. We know this went worldwide. We saw it in India, South America. What we didn't know is that the Trilateral Commission had a hand in it. You know about those guys. An NGO that wants North America, Western Europe, and Japan to, quote, foster cooperation, unquote. <laughs> yeah, they fostered something. You know they picked the places that got hit first. But someone betrayed America. And don't think I'm giving the United Nations a walk here either. They've been giving terrorist nations a seat at the table for years. Could be. The UN is out there running just fine without us. And one of our former friends has a seat on the Security Council. Think about it. Nero's got a clear hand in this. But they need a lot of help to start this war. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Who knows, Cope, maybe you're right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking up inside Cloverdale, in your goddamn backyard, you'd have a heart attack. I hope this is high enough. Boozer, it's Deacon, come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? I can barely hear you, you're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? Crater Lake, uh, believe it or not. Hey, uh, I, I... It's good to hear from you again, brother. Uh, thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no, Boozer, not yet. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm just... I'm just sort of checking in. See how, you know, how everything's going. Good, good, Deke. Things are going good. You will never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? Yeah, you got it. Guess he figured, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. Okay, yeah, like I said, I just I just wanted to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother. <clears throat> yeah, you too. Green lights are good. Green lights are only good. There really better be something in here with all this trouble.
Shit. Shit. Calm down. You don't understand. The doors. Emergency locked up. We can't open those. What do we do? I don't know. Colonel, I've spotted that uh, cult that you asked me to check out. I'm gonna deal with them. Very good, Corporal. Keep me posted. Carry it out. Goddamn favorite. I don't want his head. Things got a little too hot for you in Iron Butte. How the hell did you get over the pass? South, start all over again? No, no, that ain't gonna happen. Where's your leader? Where's Carlos? Oh, that's right, he's dead. I killed him, huh? Hear me? It was me. Oh, but Carlos, he ain't resting in peace. Spitting the fuck. Oh, but Carlos, he ain't resting in peace. Spitting the fuck. Oh, but Carlos, he ain't resting in peace. He's feeding the fucking freaks! And you're all gonna be feeding the fucking freaks. Colonel, reporting in that, uh, that cult, R.I.P., they're no longer a threat. Corporal, yes. It's a curious thing. I finally read the complete report filed by Captain Thompson. It seems they followed them for quite some time before engaging. Evidently, they called themselves Rest in Peace. Seemed to worship the freaks. Strive to become just like them. Well, that's pretty fu that's pretty messed up, sir. We're all soldiers here, Corporal. I'm not offended by coarse language. But men like that, rest in peace, they offend me. Yes, sir. They offend me because they show what the world has come to. We, Corporal St. John, are all that stand between the world and the abyss. Yes, sir. St. John out. I do. Corporal St. John, 
Are you there? I need you to report to me in command at your convenience. Colonel, of course, sir. St. John out. Sons of bitches. Like to set up ambushes? Yeah? Not a lot of ammo left.
last one. I gotta finish this. Oh, I think that's it. Roads will be a little safer now. I mean, not much, but a little. Bunker, yeah, I bet they had a bunker. Just gotta find it. Yeah, here it is. What do they got here? Here, how to craft the oak. Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Anymore. This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man, Captain Arturo Jimenez. Dark to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered, slaughtered, his life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks. Perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened 
I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our Ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over, will teach us how to use them? Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, yeah. Yeah. cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. The Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. The doc was a good guy. Captain Jimenez. Corporal St. John, I've got an important assignment for you. Yes, sir. Whatever I can do to help. We sent a patrol north along Highway 97 to investigate a group of anarchists. Have you ever had a run-in with them before? Anarchists. The assholes that left those little fucking cairns all over the place? Yeah. yeah I've met them once or twice. Uh, way back in the day. I, I uh, thought they were all killed off. Evidently not. I've marked their location on your map. I'm sending you in alone in case any of our men are being held. <clears throat> yeah, I get it. I'll have a better chance of getting them out alive. Got it. The patrol commander, Sergeant Mitch Allen, is a personal friend of mine. <sighs> yes, sir. I'll, uh... I'll do what I can. I'm counting on you, Corporal. Dismissed. Hey, Corporal St. John. How's it going? St. John, you there? Yeah, Weaver. I'm here. Uh, hey. Call me Jim, man. Listen, I never said thank you for helping me out, I mean. Ah, look, I'm just following orders. Well, I'm gonna thank you anyway. I really appreciate you going out in the ship, risking your neck for me. And dude, this napalm shit's almost good to go. We're gonna need you to help test it pretty soon. Yeah, sure, Weaver. Uh, Jim, yeah, I'll be around. Deacon out. Militia tracks. Good night. Huh. 
Neat. Got this. Tracks lead this way. You boys thought you'd just set up camp and pick off militia supply runs. Is that it? Damn anarchists! Oh! <laughs> 
fucking anarchist! Hate every goddamn one of you! Move it back! That's the last of them. Good riddance. Okay. Hey, yes, Sarge. You must be Mitch Allen. Uh, I was a goner. Thank you. Thank you, man. I, th I thought it was over. I'll bet. Are you uh, good to get out of here on your own? Okay. Hi. Right. Oh. Huh. Thanks, man. I owe you my life. I'm heading back. I'll tell him what you did. I swear to you. Just doing my job. Captain, I uh, found your man. He should be on his way back to Diamond Lake. Good work, St. John. I'll radio back. Check on him later. St. John out. Oh. 